Good morning. Good morning. Common ground. Common ground. Good morning. Good morning. We're still around. We're still around. Mr. Josh. Miss Jeanette. Miss Liz. And Miss LJ. We're gonna do calendar and maybe learn about the moon and maybe learn our letters and sing a lot and play. And math also. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, Common Ground. Penny Dog and I are so happy to see you, aren't we, Penny Dog? She's licking her feet because we were just outside and the morning had left some dew on the grass. Those are those little wet droplets on plants in the early morning. It's called the morning dew. Today is the first day of our week, but it's not Monday. It's Miss Jeanette, can you help us out? Good morning. Let's help Miss Liz figure out what day of the week it is by singing our days of the week song. First, we need to count how many days of the week there are. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now we're ready to sing our days of the week song. And I have my chart right here to help us. Let's sing. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. I hope that helps you, Miss Liz. That's right, it's Tuesday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. That's because yesterday we celebrated a holiday called Memorial Day. That's why there was no circle time. A lot of people think of Memorial Day as the first day of summer, but it's not. The first day of summer doesn't actually happen until June. I think it's June 20th. It's somewhere around there. But Memorial Day is the first social day of summer. And that's, it's a day that we celebrate our uh, soldiers that we remember who, who are no longer with us. We celebrate their memory, Memorial Day. All right, well, since it's kind of like summer, but it's not really summer yet, maybe we should check in with Miss Jeanette and see what the weather is like, right? All right, we are going to talk about the weather. So first, let's sing our weather song. What's the weather like today? Can we go outside and play? So what I want you to do is go up to your nearest window, check the sky and see what the weather is like. So let's talk about it. I have a special chart right here and I want you to look outside and tell me, is it sunny? Do you see Mr. Golden Sun outside shining so bright? Is it cloudy? Is Mr. Golden Sun hiding behind the clouds and all you see in the sky are clouds? Is it partly sunny? Do you see Mr. Golden Sun and some clouds hanging out around it? Or is it partly cloudy? Is there a lot of clouds and a little bit of sun? How about, is it rainy? Do you see dark clouds and water coming from the sky? Well, that's okay. Rain is good. Rain helps our plants grow. Or is it windy? It's the trees and the leaves moving about saying whoosh. So take a look outside your window and you tell me what the weather's like. Hope that helps. Okay, let's look out our windows. Oh, it looks like it's going to be a beautiful day. And just like people think Memorial Day starts summer, gonna feel like summer today too. Up next, we have a super cool new kind of story from Miss LJ. I'm really excited for this one. Welcome to Miss LJ's Fairly Fast Fables featuring the tortoise and the hare. Once upon a time, there were two of the best friends you had ever seen in your life. One was a tortoise. And he was quiet and easygoing and very careful about everything he did. And one was a hare. She was fast and she was confident and she filled everyone with enthusiasm. Aw, best friends. 
most of the time when Rabbit was talking and talking and talking, the turtle would just quietly listen. He loved hearing all the things she had to say. Sometimes he didn't agree with her, but he understood her perspective. One day though, Rabbit was telling everyone she knew. She told Owl, she told Mole, she told a whole field of mice. She said, fast is best and I'm the fastest so I could definitely win any race against anybody. You'll see. Well, Turtle started. Everyone turned around and looked at him. Turtle hardly ever said anything against hair. I just think that slow and steady would win more races than just speed, you know. You would think that this would bother Rabbit that her best friend disagreed with her, but it was an opportunity for competition. And any time that could happen, it was the most fun thing. Also, she really, really liked when Tortoise spoke up for himself. So she was super excited. She said, how about a race, old friend? Decided on a race. Everyone was so excited that they showed up to see. But as soon as the starting horn sounded, <gasps> Rabbit was off like a shot. Turtle is making his way. Of course, Rabbit got so far away that she got close to the finish line before Tortoise had even taken a few steps. But on her way, she saw a raspberry bush. Now she took a quick break because she was so excited about this race, she hadn't eaten breakfast yet. I can have a few raspberries before I cross the finish line. I think that's not a problem. So she stopped, she ate her fill, and she got so full, she started getting sleepy. Maybe I'll just rest my eyes a minute. Silly tortoise won't be here for hours, right? <sighs> okay, here we go. I see the finish line. <sighs> Almost there. Huh, is that rabbit? <sighs> I told her to eat breakfast. All of a sudden, rabbit was woken by a huge hooray! What's going on? For across the finish line, there was tortoise and owl and the field mice and rabbit and all of their friends celebrating tortoise's victory. Of course, once she had completely woken up and realized what had happened, she cheered and laughed and clapped louder than anyone. So I guess slow and steady really does win the race. Good job, guys. We'll see you next time. Did you love that chalk story? I thought it was amazing. I think it's time for a song with Mr. Josh though. How about two? Two in a row. Here you go. Hi everybody, Mr. Josh here. Back for another round of the Common Ground Rock the Blocks concert series. Today we are doing You Are My Sunshine, a personal favorite of mine. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. Time. Hi everybody, Mr. Josh back here again for another installment of the Common Ground Rock at the Blocks concert series. Today we're doing a very fun song. We're doing Five Little Monkeys Jumping on the Bed, but we're gonna do a rock and roll version. Just how I like it. Alright, you guys ready? Five little monkeys 
Josh. And we got two of them in a row. How fun is that? Up next, you have a story from me. Arthur's Pet Business by Mark Brown. You've been looking at puppies for months, said DW. When are you going to ask mom and dad if you can have one? I'm waiting for just the right moment, said Arthur. So promise not to say anything. That night at dinner, father asked, what's new? Arthur wants a puppy, said DW. Blabber mouth, said Arthur. A puppy is a big responsibility, said father. I can take care of it, said Arthur. Well, we'll think about it, mother said. That means no, explained DW. After dinner, mother and father did the dishes. Can you hear what they're saying? Asked Arthur. They're worried about the new carpet, whispered DW. Suddenly the door opened. We've decided you may have a puppy if you can take care of it, said father. Wow, said Arthur. But, said mother, first you need to show us you're responsible. How will they ever prove I'm responsible? Asked Arthur. The best way I know is to get a job, said DW. Then you can pay back the $7 you owe me. ka went her cash register. Arthur wondered what kind of job he could do. You could work for my dad at the bank, said Muffy. He needs some new tellers. If, uh, if I were you, I'd get a job at Joe's Junkyard, crushing old cars, offered Blinky Barnes. Do something that you'll like, said Francine. That gave Arthur an idea. I'll take care of other people's pets, said Arthur. Then mom and dad will know I can take care of my own. Arthur and Francine put up signs to advertise his new business. His family helped too. Arthur's pet business. A good bet for your pet, Arthur's pet business. Arthur waited and waited. Then just before bedtime, the phone rang. Hello, he said, Arthur's pet business. How may I help you? Yes, no, when, where? Great, said Arthur. Hooray, I'm going to watch Mrs. Wood's dog while she's on vacation. I'll earn $10. Oh no, said DW, not nasty little Perky. Isn't that the dog the mailman calls Jaws, asked Father. That's Perky, said DW. Oh no, what's gonna happen? The next morning, Arthur ran all the way to Mrs. Wood's house. Right on time, said Mrs. Wood's, Grr, grad Perky. She hasn't been herself lately, said Miss Wood. I'm worried. I'll take good care of her, said Arthur. We'll be best friends, grrr, growled, growled Perky. Here's her schedule and the list of things she doesn't like, said Miss Wood. I'll see you next Sunday. Arthur did his best to make Perky feel at home. Every day, he brushed her, 
He tried to fix her favorite foods. They took lots of long walks day and night. Perky made sure they had the whole sidewalk to themselves. You look exhausted, said mother. Maybe taking care of a dog is too much work. Any dog I get will be easier than Perky, said Arthur. Word of Arthur's pet business got around. On Monday, the McMillans asked Arthur to watch their canary, Sunny. On Tuesday, Prunella gave Arthur her ant farm. On Wednesday, the brain asked Arthur to take care of his frogs while he went on vacation. Best of all, on Thursday, the amazing Larry asked Arthur to keep Cuddles, his trained boa constrictor. Oh, I do not like boa constrictors. Animals were everywhere until mother put her foot down. I want all these animals in the basement now, she ordered. By bedtime, all the pets were downstairs, all except Perky. Perky slept in Arthur's room. On Saturday, Buster asked Arthur to go to the movies. I can't, said Arthur. When I finish cleaning the cages, it will be feeding time. And anyway, it's Perky's last night with me and she seems sick. I don't want to leave her. Well, I bet you're happy today, said DW the next morning. You get rid of Perky and collect $10. I can't believe it, said Arthur. I'm going to miss Perky. Arthur, Miss Wood just called. She said she's on her way over, said Mother. Now wait here, Perky ordered. Uh, wait here, Perky ordered Arthur. I'll go get your leash. When Arthur went back into the kitchen, Perky was gone. Here, Perky, Perky, called Arthur, but Perky didn't come. She's not in the basement, called Father. She's not in the backyard, said D.W. She's lost, said Arthur. Oh, no, said D.W., you're in big trouble. Arthur, Miss Swood is here, called Mother. Hi, Miss Swood, said D.W. Guess what? Arthur lost Perky. My poor little darling is lost, asked Miss Swood. Don't worry, said Father. Arthur's looking for her right now. Suddenly, they heard a bark. Everybody come quick, called Arthur. Look, said Arthur, Perky has had puppies. No wonder she's been acting strange, said Mrs. Wood. You've done a wonderful job taking care of Perky when she needed a friend the most. How can I ever thank you? A reward might be nice, suggested D.W. Shh, said Mother. Here's the money I owe you, said Mrs. Wood, and how would you like to keep one of Perky's puppies as a special thank you? I'd love to, said Arthur, if I'm allowed. Of course, said Mother, you've earned it. Wow, said Arthur, $10 in my very own puppy. I can't believe it. Neither can I, said D.W. Now you can finally pay me back the $7. ka -ching! went her cash register. The end. I love this story about Arthur's pet business. He learned responsibility and he got rewarded at the end. I hope you guys liked it too. Did you like that story? Last week we read Arthur writes a story where he talked about his pet business. And today we read about his pet business. <laughs> All right, we've got one more song for Mr. Josh and then Circle Time's done for today. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Hi everybody. Mr. Josh back again for the Common Ground Rock and Blocks concert series. Today, we're gonna to be doing a very fun song about animals. This is Old MacDonald Had a Farm. Ready? Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm, he had a cat, E-I-E-I-O. With a meow meow here and a meow meow there. Here a meow, there a meow, everywhere a meow meow. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had a cow, E-I-E-I-O. With a moo moo here and a moo moo there, here a moo, there a moo, everywhere a moo moo. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had a duck, E-I-E-I-O. With a quack quack here and a quack quack there, here a quack, there a quack, everywhere a quack quack. Old MacDonald had a farm. And on that farm he had a pig, E-I-E-I-O. With a oink oink here and an oink oink there, here an oink, there an oink, everywhere an oink oink. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had a 
monkey. What? There are no what monkeys on the farm. That? What do they say? They say, ooh, ooh, ah, ah. With an ooh, ooh, here and ah, ah, there. Here and ooh, there, not everywhere. And ooh, ah, old McDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. And dot that farm, he had a shark. E-I-E-I-O. I don't know what a shark says. Old McDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had a, a sheep. E-I-E-I-O. With Baba here and Baba there. Here, Baba, there, Baba, everywhere. Baba, old McDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had a chicken. E-I-E-I-O. With Buck Buck here and Buck Buck there. Here, Buck, there, Buck, everywhere. Buck Buck, old McDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had a bunny. E-I-E-I-O. What does the bunny say, guys? You gotta tell me, because I don't know. Old McDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had a dog. E-I-E-I-O. With woof woof here and woof woof there Here woof there woof everywhere woof woof Old MacDonald had a farm E-I-E-I-O And on that farm he had a giraffe He did not have a giraffe on the farm You don't see a giraffe on the farm E-I-E-I-O <laughs> Old MacDonald had a farm E-I-E-I-O And on that farm he had a dinosaur E-I-E-I-O With rah-rah here and rah-rah there Here, rah, there, rah, everywhere Rah-rah, old McDonald had a farm E-I-E-I-O Thank you, everybody We'll see you next time